Hello everyone, I wanted to share with you some projects that I created. Um, I made some of these napkin fold cards that were inspired by Dawn, and she's Dawn5377. I'll put the link uh, down below to her video tutorial. And these are really easy to make. I have to say they are very addicting. Um, this one is a summer theme one, and this is my Mind's Eye Summer Splash Collection. And so I used some cardstock to create the belly band. Then I just created a square, which you can see I did some layering. And I cut out this image from the design paper. And it says Summertime Friends, best quality. And then I fussy cut out these images to put on the side. And I add a um, pop-up in the center. And so when you open it up, inside is the 3D ball. And this is a die that's designed by um, Karen Berniston, and it's an XL die, which is this die right here. Really cute. So it symbolizes the beach ball, and then you can twist it, which is really cute. And you could add photos on here. And here I fussy cut some images of the slippers, and this one says summer days, quality time fun, and then some sunglasses. And it fits um, perfectly into the square. You just have to position it to where it fits into the card. And then it just closes up. And it just makes it extra fun adding these little pop-ups inside these cards. And it has a lot of space in the center, which is really nice. And then it just closes up like so. So you can pretty much create any theme with this card. So that's one of the cards. I made another one. This is for my daughter's teacher. I made a little set for him. So I made the little matchbox with the mini and then a card. So let me show you the card first. This is um, Authentique's Curiosity Collection. Really gorgeous papers. And I picked that up at my uh, local Hobby Lobby. So on the belly band, again, I just created the belly band, another square, and then um, add some pop dots underneath. This schoolhouse is a quick cuts die that I picked up from scrapbook.com. And then I add some stickles on the top. And then again, I put another um, pop up in the middle of the um, card. And so when you open it up, it's a little twist cube die because it reminds me of a little school block. And then twist up. And then you could put again a photo. So I'm going to put a photo of my daughter and her teacher in here. And you could twist it. And I fussy cut some of the images from the design paper and put it on top of the cube. And that's another Karen Berniston die. It's the Twist 3D Cube. Cute. And then it just twists back down. And you could, again, you can see there's a lot of space on this card, which is really nice. And then you just close it up. And then you put back the little band. It's a really fun card. And then I made the matching match box here. And so I cut out a lot of images again from the design paper. So I put Mr. on the um, banner here. And then I made a little paper like it's coming out of the typewriter. And then I put his first initial. And then I, another Tim Holtz hole here and then it's the little mini and again a, a lot of fussy cutting and I love that the paper was double sided so you can add some photos here and then it just goes back into the little box this is a different size compared to the first one I had shared in my video so you can again make any size matchbox that you want to fit um, whatever project you're going to create because um, for this other one that I'm going to show you, this one is of my dog Princess, and I wanted to put the twist cube in um, this one. And you can see the difference. Let me show you the difference in size. This one is more wider. Um, so um, this is using the die cuts with a view. It's the butterfly stack. It's a really gorgeous stack. And you can get that at Joanne. And so I just supposed to cut out a lot of the images. Um, I used a button and a saw crafter pearl with a pull, and then when you pull it out, um, there's a twist cube, and so I add some really dimensional iron roses flowers on top, and then I um, add a stamp image of a poodle, 
And then when you twist it up, or when you pop it up, it's the twist cube. Very cute. And then here's a picture of my dog, Princess. Really cute. I mean, it's a really cute um, die. And it twists back down. And then it goes inside the little matchbox here. Very cute. So that's another project. And then I made um, this card for my sister. Birthday's coming up. And I was inspired by Joanne. And I'll put the link to her video down below. I used this punch that I got from Evie. It's a hexagon punch. I used the one and a half inch size. The other size is one and a quarter. And it's by um, Creative Memories. It's the box right here. It's really a cute punch. And so again, this is a butterfly um, stack. And this is a, a new greeting farm stamp. Super adorable stamp that I use. So I colored with my Copics. I did some paper piecing. And then I fussy cut some butterflies. Um, I've had these corrugated cards from Michaels for a while, and I um, saw Joanne's video, and I thought, okay, that's such a cute card, so I had to make one. And then some iron roses, flowers, and leaves, and some American craft twine, and then um, the stamp images by um, the Precious Remembrance Shop. And I'll put the link to her shop down below. So it says, Made Wishes Come True, which is my little banner. So that's a card for my sister. And then um, I got this MFT Dynamics die. This is the Dainty Bows. I love this die. She has another one, um, but I love this one. So this is the larger bow. And again, using that butterfly stack. And then this is a smaller bow. And then it's just Sawcrafter pearls in the center. And then you could put it on a cute little box like this. I posted it on my Facebook. And so it makes a cute little favor box. And I made this little box just using this um, envelope square die. So you take four of the envelopes and it makes a cute little box. And then it just opens up like this. A cute box. And then when you just add the bow on top, it's really adorable. So it makes a really cute favor for any occasion. So I made that. And then I made this heart box for my daughter's teacher. This is using um, Prima's um, romance novel collection. So I fussy cut a lot of the images, some more iron roses, flowers, and leaves, and I add some um, stickles on top. This is some Carla's trim. And I'm going to put a gift card, but I want to show you that you can also put um, these cupcake, little mini cupcake baking cups. And I picked this up at my local Michaels. And you can put embellishments inside. Uh, or you can put chocolate, you know, whatever you want to put in the little cups. It's really cute. And then it just closes up. It's a really cute heart box. And that's a new die by Eileen Hull. It's another XL die. And last project I wanted to share, um, this is my little journal book. I had a couple requests from my Keep On Scrapping Facebook group to share the pages. This is a little Tim Holtz uh, book that I got from Yvonne. And when I um, create projects and when I have scraps, I just make a little page real quick. And here are my pages. I love the size, so you can make a really fun, quick page. Since, you know, you, you're already creating something and you have all your stuff out, um, it's just fun to just make a really quick page. And it's nice to look back at. It's kind of like a little mini smash book. So this is my page, this little envelope. I put a recipe in there. My girls love my mom's cooking. And I have one that has a picture, so you can kind of get an idea with a picture in it. Just Hello Kitty. So here's one with a picture. And, you know, there's tons of pages in this. Um, and I love that it has this elastic, so it holds down the book, which is really nice. So those are my projects um, that I wanted to share with you. And thank you everyone so much for watching. Bye.